Governor Clary, do you know who it is that's pursuing you and why? No, I don't, but uh, may I thank Jacinda for letting me at this late hour get a bit of a laugh. But wh why? Uh, is the attorney the expert on intelligence? And the fact is that uh, it's not a judge balancing exercise. The NSI Act mandates and gives the attorney certificate uh, the greatest weight. A judge must apply the greatest weight. It's not a weighing and balancing exercise at all. I can't talk about the proceedings involving myself, but I must say uh, there are no challenges to the accepted notions of national security in that case. Do you, no challenges. Do you think, Bernard Caleri, that it's in the public's interest to know the substance uh, involved in this trial? Well, you've got to see, Hamish, the, the overall picture of this. Uh, this issue, about which I'm forbidden from speaking, is part of failed foreign policy. Um, when one speaks of uh, economic wellbeing for Australia and it being lawful, for Australia to use its agencies to pursue economic wellbeing, do you look at that in the macro sense about uh, achieving a short-term profit from something or do you look at the overall benefit in our region to have a stable, prosperous nation, for example, and to have an unsinkable aircraft carrier that's uh, an island on our shipping trade routes for the next uh, part of the millennium? Uh, is, it, is there a short-term aspect to economic benefit or is there a long-term? And a, intelligence agencies, Hamish, must be accountable, but above all, they must be effective. I am a proponent of the intelligence functions, and it's well known that I am, but there must be a line drawn at times where the function is not effective and is not proper, is not necessary and it follows, may not be lawful. Uh, you're the one that's living through all of this at the moment. You heard uh, the statement given to us by Jose Ramos Horta comparing this uh, to Soviet era and North Korean trials. Is that how it feels to you? Well, I must say, I've been calling in recent times for a specific penalty to be introduced for the smearing of uh, so-called whistleblowers. If that's part of an attempt to um, prevent a public disclosure that is in the public interest, that is genuine, then there should be penalties for the deliberate smearing of whistleblowers. I feel very strongly about a lot of the uh, uh, media that's getting a run on. I think Dennis mentioned there were some issues that um, weren't uh, the case about uh, staff being pulled off the job for something else. Now, look, I, I may not cavil some of those issues, but the principal function is our intelligence agency, especially our overseas agency, must be effective. It will not be effective if it's involved in foreign policy, if its functions are overtaken by short-term trade uh, issues that are fundamentally flawed, are morally flawed, but as well are unprincipled in terms of us developing respect in our region and You've got to face one thing, Hamish. The Timorese were unhappy from the very beginning, way back before this Witness K issue arose, very unhappy with their lot over a suite of treaties that uh, they'd inherited or had re-signed under difficult conditions. The fact is that we must not signal to the region that we will use both our foreign policy uh, di diplomacy together with our intelligence agencies in the pursuit of policies that bring down our reputation in the region. To, to be and specific, not... though, Bernard Caleri, who was most embarrassed by these revelations when they came out? Well, of course, it's a, a, an embarrassment for Mr Howard and an embarrassment, or worse, for Alexander Downer. I can't... I'm, I'm precluded from commenting further on the question of lawfulness. I can't... Comment, I'm prevented. I mean, I yearn for the day when I can defend Witness K and myself in open court. This is the democracy. This is the democracy that my father gave his life in, in the war for. This is a disgrace to Witness K and a disgrace to myself. And as for the alleged independence of the Inspector General of Security, 
I mean, that's laughable. Why did the Inspector General of Security approve a person to see me as an approved person that I would have not know, had a clue about that person's operational record to see me? There's a fundamental answer that must be given in open public court as to who flicked me the hospital pass and why that wasn't tackled up the line at the time. 